my name's Reflexa, and I hate the AK-74U. Yeah, I said it. And I know some of you guys are saying it too, and you've been saying it for a long time. You get killed by that gun all the time. It has next to no recoil. It's super powerful. I mean, what more could a noob ask for in a gun? Now, people might say, in a competitive game, you have to use the best gun. Now, I can understand that to an extent, but in my opinion, what it comes down to is like how good the player is at adjusting to different guns that makes them a better player. Therefore, rendering a gun a tool that makes them look like it's the best gun. For me, now this is just for me, I love the Spectre. I love the Mac 11, uh, the Org, I love the MPL, PM63. Like when I take out someone with a gun like that and when they're using a 74U, I'm like, man, you got owned. <laughs> you know, and it feels good. It feels good playing against someone who's using like supposedly a better gun than you but they can't take you out because like you've mastered the ability to adapt your play to outplay them <laughs> in some situations like when you're using guns like the pm63 or the spectre or whatever it be you're actually putting yourself at a major disadvantage to someone who's using the 74u because like you know they'll have the upper hand in certain situations like if you're using a gun that has no recoil for example and you're using like a spectre or a pm63 which has you know a considerable amount of recoil you're gonna have to like back out from certain gun battles just so like you can get that kill and that's that's what being a skilled player is about it's about changing your style to outplay the opponent so in no way is using a gun that has no recoil or a gun that you can like simply guess where it's gonna bounce to you know that's that's there's no skill involved in that so you know I mean like from the level that you unlock that gun you can tell that it was just made for people who like won't be successful with other guns than that one I mean, the 70 for you, no doubt. I mean, you know, I don't want to complain about the guns or whatever. I don't want to come across as someone who, who takes the game too seriously. So, I'm, I'm sorry if I am. But I, I just feel I have to discuss the problem with Call of Duty players. I mean, there's no variety amongst the players of this game. I mean, people use that gun regardless of what level or what prestige they are. They claim to be skilled or whatever. I mean, there's loads of gun in this. There's loads of guns in this game. You've got the prestige system which, you know, is designed so that players would change up their style from level to level instead of using the same gun all the time. But, you know, anyway, what I wanted to talk about in this commentary is I'm coming up with this series you know, on my channel exclusively and I'm going to call it Can You Beast With This Gun? And basically, how it's going to work is I'm going to pick an underused, underrated, underpowered, whatever you want to call it gun and basically I'm going to beast with it. <laughs> It's as simple as that. If you guys want, you can message me with a gun, you know, a gun you'd like me to use, perks, attachments, whatever. And the rules are simple. No camping, pure rushing only. All the kill streaks have to be set high. I'm talking I'm talking Blackbird, Chopper, Dogs, you know, you know, gunship, all that kind of stuff, right? And the purpose of this series, yeah, it's not to show that I can play better than some people who use the AK something for you, because that's that's ridiculous, man. The purpose is basically to show that skill relies on a player and their style over the gun and its attachments. That's it. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to annoy people. I'm not trying to claim that I'm the best or whatever. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to promote variety in this game. I mean, anyone can rush with a second for you and get good scores and make it look easy. But you know, surely a skilled player can do that kind of stuff with any gun and be successful. And I just want to promote the use of other guns. You know, that's all. I'm getting tired of seeing that gun. That's 74 you, man. <laughs> I've said that gun name a lot in this commentary. So anyway, you know, you would have seen from the beginning of the video I left my my what's it called my choose class set up there. That's just so you guys can see what gun and perks I'm using, and obviously my class names. <laughs> I actually renamed my classes every prestige, but that's gonna stop soon because you know I, I just wanted ten classes, so I'm stopping at prestige now and I'm stopping there for good. You know, no more prestiging for me. I don't know. I was thinking about going up to, to 13 because I like the emblem. For me, it's all about the emblems, really. I'm not really a fan of Skull emblems or whatnot. And the gold guns, I don't know, man. They, I don't really find them that attractive. I mean, if anything, what I would have liked to see is like a like a glossy black camo. I think that would have been sick. I mean, you know, just colours that are just glossy. That would have been, you know, a much better idea than just having, you know, gold. I mean, I'm not at Prestige 14. I mean, come on, man. I mean, that's what everybody's going to Prestige 14 for. I mean, some people haven't even gone to Prestige 15 who are at level 15 already. I mean, Prestige 14 already. But anyway, this commentary is coming up to an end. I didn't speed up the chopper because I didn't want the video to be, um, you know, too too quick for you guys. 
But yeah, if you guys are interested in this series that I'm starting up, can you beast with this gun? You know, come over to my channel, subscribe, and I'll get working on that. You know, immediately for you guys. So if you enjoyed the commentary, you know, come to my channel, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Like the comments. Uh, I mean, <laughs> write the comments, like you know the video and whatnot. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, guys. Peace. Take care.